Welcome back, boxing fans. It's your boy, Mike the Diller on the mic. You've tuned in to Pro Boxing Media TV, home of hardcore boxing fans. And yet again with another video, I told you a lot of news came out today. And one of those reports was a potential fight between Big Bang Zhang and the Bronx Bomber Deontay Wilder. Now this fight is rumored to be on the undercard of the March 8th Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou that just got recently announced as well. This fight has not been signed off yet. Reports have it that Zhang has signed his side of the deal and now we're waiting on Deontay Wilder. This will be a big, big fight if it does indeed happen. Two big powerful dudes. Zhang is like 280 pounds. Powerful dude. Wilder's a big powerful guy as we all know with his 40 plus KOs. Zhang is coming up for destruction of Joy Joyce. But Deontay Wilder is coming up for a loss, an uninspiring loss to Joseph, Joseph Parker. Now the initial plan was to have a big fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. So in the day of reckoning card, we saw Joshua destroy out of Wallane, keeping his end of the bargain. But unfortunately, Deontay Wilder suffered the defeat at the hands of Joseph Parker, derailing any potential of a fight against Anthony Joshua. But the Saudi Arabians are trying to resuscitate that fight and the way they're trying to do it is by having Deontay Wilder potentially restore his uh, knocking out monster image by taking on Zhang, a fighter that I think he could potentially knock out. This is a very dangerous fight for Deontay Wilder. And smart money will have him losing. And losing by knockout against the monster Zhang. Zhang is a big powerful, powerful dude. Southpaw. Just mauled Joe Joyce. He's looking for big fights as he's in his 40s. Deontay Wilder, 38. So Zhang, this will be his biggest fight, biggest payday. So he signed off. Now we're waiting to see where Wilder is. Now I got Zhang winning this fight because I just can't pick Wilder no more after his showing in his last fight. His technique is off. It's always been off. But now instead of going for the kill and having that killer instinct that he used to have. Now we have Ayahuasca Wilder always smiling. Always laughing. Always thinking that everything's alright. Seems like the killer instinct is gone for this man. So I don't know who this fighter is anymore. He, tries to, he wants to be a boxer. Malik Scott wants him to learn new tricks at the, eight of thir at the age of 38. When I think what they should have done with Wilder is just emphasize the jab and try to land the right hand. He is what he is at this point in his career. And he should have kept doing what got him successful and got him to like 40 and 0 with a lot of knockouts. He is a one-trick pony, and he should have stayed a one-trick pony. Now, this is where he at. he's at, coming off a loss to Parker, who a lot of people, including myself, had him knocking Parker out. I thought he was going to knock Parker out in less than five rounds. So, what a surprise I got. And now he gets potentially gets to fight Big Bang Zhang, a man that's actually weighs more than... Tyson Fury was for the last fight. Nonetheless, having said that, Tyson, Deontay Wilder, the last thing to go is the power. Zhang is a southpaw. And a good punch against a southpaw is a straight right hand. And that is Deontay Wilder's best punch. So, 
Wilder indeed has a chance. So this is a good fight for Wilder to potentially regain his status. We saw uh, Daniel Dubois, Dubois fight a, 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 a similar fight in regards to trying to restore his image. This is, of course, more of a risk for Wilder. This is a bigger fight. He's fighting a much more uh, talented individual in Big Bang Zhang. But Zhang is not a big mover. He will be there to get hit. He's a big target for Deontay Wilder. So he shouldn't have too much of an issue landing against him. So I think this fight could potentially be a Louis uh, Deontay Wilder versus uh, Ortiz type of fight. Where he's going to be getting uh, outboxed. And then at some point in the fight he could potentially land that right hand and get Zhang out of there. If he does indeed do that. That will set up a fight against Joshua, uh, Joshua providing that Joshua gets through uh, his fight versus Francis Ngannou victoriously. And then we'll have that Joshua Wilder fight once again. If Wilder takes this fight and loses to Sang, I think pretty much the career will be over. You know, a lot of people called for Wilder to hang up the gloves after his defeat to Parker. But if he fights Big Bang and he does lose, then that definitely will be it for Wilder. As he will be nothing but a gatekeeper at that point. Very winnable, but very risky fight for Wilder. Very, very risky fight. Very winnable fight for Zhang. Is an intriguing matchup. It's a big fight. You know the Saudi, the Saudis are really putting their money on the table, really bringing up, bringing us these big fights. That March 8th card is looking very explosive. Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou in the main event, and now Deontay Wilder versus Big Bang Zhang could be the co-main event. Let's see if this fight does happen. Hopefully it does. It will be a big fight. Let me know who you got in the comments. I think pretty much this fight is a 50-50 just because, because of what, where Wilder is in his career. Uh, like I said, smart money will make uh, Zhang the favorite. But Zhang is there to be hit like I said before. And if that right hand lands, it will put Zhang to sleep potentially. Now, if you're going to bet, bet Zhang, like I said, he, he's heavier, hits hard, southpaw, and the book is out on is out on Wilder. You want to be Wilder, you want to get close to Wilder, you want to rush Wilder, you want to fight Wilder on the inside, put him on his back foot. Wilder has zero boxing abilities on the inside. You saw the man punching like he was fighting in the fighting on the block. I mean, the most ridiculous technique I ever saw from a professional fighter was Wilder fighting on the inside against Joseph Parker. Complete ridiculousness, man. So put Wilder on the back foot, fight him on the inside, use your weight against him, and you're going to be victorious. That's plain and simple. Deontay Wilder super fans, fanboys gonna come out and, 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 and come out with another narrative. But the real ones know what's going on. I'm a Wilder fan myself, but we gotta call it how it is. So big fight potentially in the works. Wilder vs. Sang on the undercard. Hopefully it happens. Let me know who you guys think is gonna win. Let me know who you rocking with. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's grow this community, man. And until next time, it's your boy, Mike the Diddler on the mic. Till next time, peace.